We're going to be using the Perception app to work on the labeling of correlations. To get started, go ahead and highlight and then copy the passcode, making sure not to include any blanks on either side. Paste the passcode into the field. Click OK. Then click on the Start button and you're off. So for this activity, we're clicking on the weakest correlation. That is the correlation that is closest to zero. So uh, weakest correlation would be zero itself. The strongest correlation would be either a positive one or a negative one. Both of those are equally strong. So the closer you are to zero, the weaker it is. The further you are from zero, the stronger it is. When you see these labels, weak, moderate, or strong, uh, they're classifying for you the type of the cor correlation. And you'll see these classifications used sometimes when you're reading a, a research paper. So in terms of a weak correlation, that's any time where the absolute value of Pearson's R is less than or equal to 0.3. A strong correlation is where the absolute value of Pearson's R is greater than or equal to 0.7. And the absolute value simply means ignore the sign. So whether uh, so if you have a negative 0.29, you treat it as a positive 0.29. And since 0.29 is less than or equal to 0.3, that would be a weak correlation. If the correlation was uh, 0.82, well, 0.82 is greater than 0.70, so we'd have uh, greater than or equal to 0.70, so we'd have a strong correlation. And a moderate correlation would be any time we have a, a Pearson's R that is greater than uh, 0.3 and less than 0.7, ignoring the sign of the Pearson's R. So if it had a negative 0.52, that would be moderate. Or if it was a positive 0.52, that would be moderate. So in this activity, we're just going through and labeling, uh, taking into account the labels as well as the actual value of Pearson's R, and then selecting whichever one is closest to zero. So if I see strong, I know it's not going to be uh, strong. If I see a one, I know it's not going to be one, because those are both examples of strong correlations. If I see moderate, the other card could be a stronger correlation or it could be a weaker correlation. If I wait too long to respond, then the correct answer will be highlighted for me. And if I click on the wrong answer, uh, then the correct answer will be highlighted for me. And there we go. Uh, once you have completed the task, if you have met the expected threshold of performance, when you click on the menu button, it'll give you the completion code. If you haven't reached the minimum uh, performance level, uh, in this case, 93.33 is really good. But if I hadn't, then it would just say continue, and I'd have a second opportunity or even a third opportunity and so on at the task until I reach the performance threshold that was expected. So I'll click menu. Here's the completion code. And the completion code is going to be unique each time that you uh, participate in this activity. So I type in the completion code of 306. And after I've done that, I can go ahead and click Submit Quiz, and I'm done.